Hey, James Deere here from The Embroidery Legacy. Now, have you ever wondered how to get perfect embroidered results when stitching on terry cloth towel? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be creating this custom embroidered monogram. Now, you can actually create and customize this design 100% free if you follow along with our brand new Hatch Personalized Project tutorials hosted by Linda Rayburn. If you haven't seen the new video yet, be sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description or clicking the card up above. For today's project, we are going to need an iron, our terry cloth towel, three spools of thread, one of which should closely match the color of our towel, a hoop, I am using a magnetic hoop, and last but not least, tearaway stabilizer. So to get started, all we're going to do is iron out our terry cloth towel. Once it's ironed, we can grab our stabilizer, put it in the hoop, and begin the hooping process. Now we'll just give it a few little tugs to ensure that the towel is laying flat. We can now load the design that we created with Linda and load our thread colors. Now as you can see, I'm using the elastic band method to ensure my hoop is centered. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out that video down below, and then I'm simply going to put my hoop back onto the machine without the elastic and I can start to run the sample. Now as you can see, the first color is going to lay down the background for the design. This is also known as a knockdown stitch or hatch smash. This will ensure our design lays flat on the grooves of the terry cloth. Now normally I suggest using a water soluble topping or a heat away topping for terry cloth, but because we've used the hatch smash knockdown stitch, it's no longer necessary. Now these stitches will come out nice and clean because the pile or nap of the terry cloth has been smashed down. With our knockdown stitch done, the rest of the design is ready to be stitched. As you can see, the knockdown stitch allows us to add those nice details to the terry cloth towel. We can now start to stitch the final color. Once the design is finished stitching, we can remove it from the machine and hoop and proceed to tear away the tear away stabilizer. Now we can simply iron out the towel and it's ready to go. And there we have it. We've now created our very own custom Victorian monogram stitched out beautifully on our terry cloth towel. Now once again, if you'd like to try and create this design free for yourself, be sure to check out Linda's new Hatch Personalized Project tutorials. There will be a link posted in the description down below, or you can click the card posted in the top corner. Now if you enjoyed this video and want more free embroidery tips and trick videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time.